In a particular modeling problem, you might have a feature, such as one shown here, forming a base plane, and then the next feature you'd want to locate might be a certain given distance from one known plane, say from the right, X, the right plane here into the object, and the front plane into the object, so forming an XY location. Well, and then once you have this point located, you might have to define a sketch plane at a given angle. Well, we can utilize datum planes to approach this problem. So let me deselect any selected planes, and I'm going to come over here to the model tree and hide some of this extra datum geometry. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the datum plane tool, select on this surface, and again, let's move in say 72 and a half units. Say that was the direction of the, the location of my point from this surface. Now again, I'll select the datum plane tool and I'll move in from this surface and let's move in a distance of say 35. Okay, well these two planes that I've just uh, created form at their intersection an axis, a datum axis through this point, through the part that I'm creating. So let me select the datum axis tool and I'll select datum one. Holding my control key down, I'll select datum two. And if I say okay, I'll see that I have an axis that has just been created. So if I hide datum one and datum two over here in the model tree, I'll select datum one, hold my shift key down, select datum two and click hide. So now I have this axis at the correct location within, the, within my part that I want to be able to start my sketch on. And I'm going to utilize that axis and the datum to place this new datum plane. So I'll select this plane, one edge of my part, holding the control key down, I'll select the axis, and now I can rotate my part, this plane, in any particular direction. So let's say about 31 degrees. Now, if I want to sketch in this direction, along this plane, I need to actually put in a secondary plane that's orthogonal, or 90 degrees to this. So again, I'll select my datum plane tool, select the datum plane that I just created, and select the, hold down the control key and select the axis. And coming in here, that's exactly what I want. It's starting out as a default of 90 degrees. So now what I've done is I've defined a datum plane here, datum plane 4, that is at the correct angle that I want to sketch at and is through the particular point. So let's just create a quick sketch here. So I'm going to say sketch. I'll sketch on datum plane 4 and I want to flip the direction because I want to be looking in the inside this direction and I want to take the top plane, the reference plane, and I want to face that towards the bottom so I'll have this so this will create the view that I actually want I'll say sketch now it's putting in the top plane as being the reference but I want a few more references here I want to utilize the top surface as my reference and also I want this axis as my reference I'll say okay so there's my three reference lines I'll say close let me look at the sketch that I want and sort of flip me around here so let me actually look in the direction that I actually want to look at. I thought I had set that, but sometimes it actually works against you. So what I want to do is I'll just select a rectangle here. And now you see there's the corner of my rectangle is selecting to the point in space that's been specified by that axis. And let's see what else I can do. Well, maybe we'll just put a little angle part on this. I'll trim out the material. I'm going to leave those as weak dimensions just so I can finish up here. I'll extrude the part. Maybe I want to go in this direction. I'll say OK and I'll turn off my datum geometry so we can take a good look at the part. And that gives me sort of what I was looking for. Show it in my shaded view as well. Alright, hope this helps.